hi welcome back to the heather mac reacts once again lost my voice let's get over it today we're here to go through some more am i the devil pose and i hope you're ready because i'm super ready let's go am i the a-hole for telling my sister's new boss about her historic drug use yeah it kind of sounds like it but let's see me 29 female and my sister 26 female She's just landed a job that she is seriously underqualified and underprepared for. Okay, is that your job to say that? It is a senior position in an industry that means she would be in direct contact with highly vulnerable people. The recruitment process has taken months and it has literally been the only thing she and her mom have talked about. She doesn't have a degree and is honestly not that suitable for this type of role. From the age of 16 to around 22, she had a serious drug habit where she overdosed multiple times. My mom even paid for her to go to rehab even though she refused to help me pay for my wedding. Just as a little throwaway comment, okay, your mom paid for her daughter to uh, survive, but she didn't plan pay for you to get married. Do you see how grossly different those things are? You're already an a-hole. She has relapsed many times and it is highly likely that she will again. She has also stolen from me and my husband in the past to fund her habit. I mean, that's not cool for her to do, but like that is part of the disease. Maybe you haven't forgiven her because that's what it seems like. My concern is that someone of her character should not be in a position of power over people and particularly those in vulnerable situations. On Monday, I sent an email to the company to just let them know what kind of person they are dealing with. I think it's important for them to know the full story before she starts her job so they can make an informed decision. An hour ago, she called me and screamed down the phone saying that I was trying to destroy her life. She said, I just didn't like the thought of her earning more than me even though I have a degree. I explained my reasons and that I only told them that so they could decide if she was a good fit for the company she didn't even lose the job over it now she and my mom are mad at me for trying to do the right thing am i the a-hole yes what business is it of yours if your sister gets a job that you don't think she's qualified for obviously if it's a lengthy uh interview process they think she's qualified for the job and if your sister is now what 26 and she was 22 when she got sober yo give her a freaking break Give her a freaking break and get a freaking grip, y'all. I'm fired about this one. I am fired about this one. I'm mad. I am very, very irritated and I don't like family sabotaging other family. I'm sorry, there's just some lines you don't cross. You don't mess with someone's job. What is, it's not like you're the one who hired her or recommended her and she's getting a higher paying position and you're worried that's gonna look bad on you. No, you have nothing to do with this, y'all. I need to move on because I'm fired up. <laughs> Let's move on. Wait a second. Tell me what you think in the comments because I want to know if you're as fired up as I am. Okay, let's move on. Am I the hole for telling my friend her standards are too high? Maybe, let's see. Basically, I, 23 female, hosted a night with my friends and this discussion of men came up. I recently went through a sort of breakup or more like friendship ending and needed girl time. I invited a few of my friends ages 23 to 27 female. My friend, we can call her Amy, said that I should raise my standards and ask what my current ones are. I basically said one, doesn't cheat, two, tells the truth. Everyone started laughing because yeah, not likely to find. Amy, 26 female, didn't laugh and said something along, along what you accept is what you allow so i asked what hers are she told me it's not about her but i insist she tell me because i was curious amy has always been known to be a little uppity and intimidating to guys since she's tall and curvy but all of her breakups have been good and she's the only one who's never been in a toxic relationship she told me she always leaves on the first mess up and if she sees a red flag she stops speaking to them i protect myself like i would protect a child because i have my own inner child to protect i may lose out on one or two okay guys but i want more than okay sister not bad standards to have she said she doesn't forgive cheating only dates if they are in the same range as her financially and are pro-choice and her her type height or taller okay a little extra and ghosts if she finds out they do one-nighters and don't take sex seriously okay i did lose my temper some temper some because when she was talking it felt like she was saying my dating history is my own fault and i told her she was going to die alone because every guy that's proposed to her has said to her she said no to since she's still traveling a lot amy didn't get mad at me but three of our other friends said i was a bitch and aren't talking to me or responding to text i do think her standards are crazy just because she fits all of that doesn't mean anyone else will am i the a-hole realistically what she's saying is sort of crazy realistically she's not wrong 
<laughs> and you're mad because she's not wrong and you're wrong. Yeah, you're the a-hole for saying that to her. That was rude. And she, I mean, the taller thing is a little bit superficial that I don't like because my husband is a short king. But yeah for the rest of it i yeah uh, you need to you need to calm down <laughs> you need to you need to calm down taylor swift our queen uh knows exactly what you need to do yeah no i don't blame your other friends for being mad at you because you were pretty nasty to her and you deserve it so yeah you're the a-hole i would like to know what you guys think in the comments I'll leave it down below and let's get on to the next story am i the a-hole for telling my daughter she will never be able to count on us Tell your daughter she will never be able to count on us. That's pretty crappy. I, 45 female, have three children and I am still raising two a son and 13 a daughter and 18, almost 19 daughter turning 19 in January. I raised my children on my own and my oldest daughter who is out of the house has been very entitled since moving out. My daughter moved out around mid-April of this year. I am not sure why, but she grabbed all her things after we had a disagreement, which wasn't unusual for us, and she left. I didn't say anything harsh or do anything harsh, and I am under the pressure she may have been chasing after a boy, which isn't out of the norm for her. I've been estranged from my daughter since April and each time I've tried to contact her, none of my messages go through and when I try to reach out through social media, I can't find her moniker. I tried calling her number today and it told me the phone was no longer in service, which means she either didn't pay the bill or her number has changed. Last month, my 18 year old reached out to my younger daughter to ask if she could stay for a few days. She sent this message at 2 a.m. So I'm not sure what was going on, but my younger daughter stays up late on weekends and I told my younger daughter to let her know it was fine. She decided she never wanted to come after thinking, which was a bummer since I cleared up her room for her while waiting for her arrival. This past week, I asked my younger daughter to ask my oldest if she'd like to spend Christmas Eve with us in which she replied, no, because I don't want anything to do with the mom and I will never be in the same space as her ever again in life. Little dramatic. I told my younger daughter to let her know that she will never be welcome to ask us for a favor and to consider herself to never count on me for anything moving forward. And that's the end of that. <laughs> uh, yeah, you're an a-hole. Like, it's your kid. It's your kid, okay? You do not tell them, oh, since you don't want to come to Christmas Eve, don't ever call me again. No, you're her parent for life. That means you need to buck up, go find her, talk to her, make up with her, and get back to being a family. What is wrong with these people? Man, family is too sparse and too fleeting to be wasted, okay? Family is important. I understand some people have toxic family. That's understandable. I'm talking about, you know what? Maybe this mom is toxic. She sounded a little toxic. Oh, it was normal for her to get into fights with the daughter. It was normal for the daughter to run after other boys. A little condescending when she said that stuff. So maybe this is a toxic situation and the daughter should get out of it. I don't know, but I think life is too short to be fighting with your family. That's my opinion. I wanna know what you think down in the comments. Don't forget to like, don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you next video. Bye.